What up everybody, Kafka here, and today we are doing a video around the long-awaited Charge Bolts spec. A lot of people have been asking me about this spec that I've been playing this build, and I wanted to make a video. I just uh, got busy, so uh, I, I, here's my chance now to make that video for y'all, everyone who wants to see it. Uh, pretty cool stuff. I, I started off Chain Lightning, and I wanted to be Lightning, some kind of variation of it. And this is a Charge Bolt slash Arc Lash build. I find it very fun, very interesting, and I've uh, built up a lot of cool things to make this this a really strong build. Uh, for leveling, you know, who knows at 100 what's going to be the best build for me. Obviously, I'll still try to make this work, uh, but I might try some other things too, and hopefully I can share that info with, you, uh, with everyone here. Uh, before I get into the skill tree, before I get into the paragon tree, before I get even into the gear and aspects and hearts, malignant hearts, uh, wise man once told me the proof is in the pudding, so here's the proof right now. So I, I want to share a little bit of a dungeon play. Uh, this is a Nightmare Dungeon 34. I'm assuming the mobs are going to be pretty significantly higher than me. Yeah, they're 88. And they're 16 levels above me. I'm going to kind of show you the kind of DPS this build can do. You know, 16 levels above. Not bad for the first pack. Yeah, those guys are goners. play with the dan dangerous malignant heart which I'll show you guys which takes away life from you I know it's crazy to think you play with a malignant heart and it takes away damage so 16 is not really what I would be playing up again. I just want to show you guys if it's possible. So I'm, I'm 72 and I have a chance to get uber loots. You know, that's that's pretty cool. Obviously I'll never get one. Just say there's a chance. This is a big level increase here. This is not usually an easy task. Damage resistance. You can see my mana is not bad, right? I don't run out of mana too often. Got a nice elite pack to show you guys there. This, I can speak clear. Like t uh, eight to ten levels yeah. above me, I can speak clear. I just skip everything, and I'll tell you why I skip everything. So 16 levels above, right? Pretty cool. So you could uh, actually clear that. All right, we finished him. Let's get into some of the build. We're going to teleport out of here. We're going to get right into it. You know, I think that doing 16 levels above is pretty impressive, right? You know, and I can speak clear 8 to 10 levels above, and it's just not, not too bad. So first, we're going to start off with the gears. We're going to talk about synergies, and we're going to talk about some things that I wish I didn't have. Um, I wish I did have uh, but first we're going to the helm uh, basic skills grant 20% damage reduction this is important I would uh, I have a six second one uh, if you're using arc lash you're gonna get a ton of damage reduction so this is very very good um, I'd probably put this on my legs or I would put that on my helm if I'm using this build this is our chest uh, I just like this uh, resetting our cooldown for Defensive skills. You don't have to have this, or obviously you don't want this. This is not the Raymonds. Uh, the legendary unique Raymonds would be way better because we do more damage to stunned, and it just works out to be nice to bring everyone in. This right here is the Fist of Fate. I like this. I do big crits with this. Uh, bosses, it's very great. Uh, all the lucky hit stuff's pretty neat as well, and uh, sometimes uh, I get some big, big damage with it. Uh, but it helps with your primary resource too, which is fantastic. That's why you've seen a lot of my mana going up. 
Uh, this, actually, I'm waiting for a good pair of ancestral legs because I would put uh, the Frost Nova uh, aspect on it so I get two Frost Novas. So I'm just using this for now. It's it's okay. I would use this later on if I got something better. Uh, the boots, I like one thing on this boot the most. And it is, hopefully you guessed it, the Max Evade Charge 3. That is fantastic because currently... In that dungeon, I was actually using Teleport as an enhancement. And I wouldn't normally use that in a 16. I'd actually use Enhanced Charge Bolt. Um, like, but for anything that's like eight levels above me and lower, I'll use Teleport so I can just get around the map very fast. So I got four charges of Teleport there, and then I have my own Teleport. So that is the, the best thing uh, the best thing on Boots you could get. I like to increase my lucky hit, but I also like skills of Frost Nova, Ice Arm, and Teleport. That's really important because I'm using all those skills. You, know, you see them. You see them on the bar. That's what I'm using. Uh, you got Intelligence on there. I'd rather have Mana Cost Reduction. Uh, I think you could get Cooldown Reduction. I'm not sure. Uh, the weapon. Using a unique weapon. I think the Charge Bolts Pierce is very good. I can't wait to get the Legendary um, Ancestral of this staff because I think it will do incredible damage. I have a 27% resource gain too on a lucky, hand, uh, lucky hit of 5% and that is very useful. Damage to close enemies is very useful and that will only be higher if we get the other ancestral staff. So that is very very important. Good staff for this build. I think it's fun. It's fun too. That's what's F-U-N. That's important. We need to have fun when we're playing this game. Alright, Rapid Choker. Uh, so this is uh, Devouring Blazes on here. Very important. Mana cost reduction is very important. This is sacred. I need an ancestral one that has this. Um, I have it imprinted with attack speed, which I have a better one. I'm waiting for a higher ancestral version of this. I am using the Barber Critical Strike Chances Damage within 3.8 seconds, which I, I think is the great roll, the 3.8 to 4. 4 seconds is the best you could get on this roll because it will store more damage and then it will just erupt into an insane amount of damage so that is an awesome malignant heart does a lot of damage uh, I recommend trying that out if you could farm the malignant tunnels and get this it would be awesome then the ring I like critical strike I like damage to close enemies I like vulnerable I like resource regen I like cr uh, critical strike damage I like lightning strike damage those are the kind of things you want to look for um, you want to imprint this with well, since you are using this, and if you don't have this, it's okay. Or if you don't have this, it still works. But since I'm using this, normally I would put this um, imprint there if I wasn't using this. Uh, but it makes your cast above 100 mana, 38%. Critical set, uh, increased critical strike, which is fantastic for the synergy with the Wrath of Heart. So these two work really well together. So if I didn't have this, I'd put this there, and then I would put you deal... 35% more damage to frozen targets, immobilized stunned enemies, or whatever that looks like. That would be that would be the play. So if someone didn't want to use this, or if they didn't have it. Uh, the other ring is I like the damage while you have a barrier. I almost have barrier all the time, especially when I'm using teleport, because this grants barrier too when I have the enchant up. So that synergizes very well. Also, uh, with this ring, uh, you will see that I have the when you're above 65 or 60% health, um, core skills cost life. So that makes this stay above 100% mana, which is great. And then I have the lucky hit chance to get more life anyways on both of these. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, on this and this. So currently right now, I don't really, like, I lose health to go to, you know, a little bit of health and I'll get it right back because um, I have these lucky hit chances and I have pretty good lucky hit chance with the lucky hit chance on your boots So this all works together as you can see it's very good uh, Like I talked about the barrier on this. I do like the vicious heart um, around doing more damage for each um, School of magic you cast because I end up getting three stacks of this um, It's a very crappy heart. I need to upgrade this one But I upgrade the ring burning damage is fine too uh, on a ring. It's not it's not as good as vulnerable damage, but it's still good. So that's the gear. I hope you like the gear. Here's a quick view of my stats. So that goes up to 38%. So it's like 60 something, you know, which is pretty good. You see a lot of this stuff gets multiplied when I start casting and doing things. So just a really quick look. 
All right, so then we're gonna go into the skill tree. Uh, make this pretty quick. Uh, Arc Lash is gonna be your first skill tree. You're gonna go ahead and enhance. I, I'm I'm considering playing around not using Arc Lash, but then I have to change some other things around. So don't even think about that right now. The Arc Lash works really well. Works really well. So use it, especially with that Helm synergy and all that other stuff. So enhance that. Use your Firebolt. And then charge bolts, we uh, upgrade charge bolts to max, but we also get devastation to get more mana. And your core skills deal uh, 9x damage when you're above 50. Because you'll get like four, three or four, sometimes even five charge bolts off. So before you get to 50, under 50, I mean. Sometimes even more. Sometimes you get like six or seven. It's crazy. All right, so then we do some teleport and we enhance that with shimmering. So we do let, get less damage taken. We get glass cannon for the more damage and one rank of elemental attunement. We get one rank of ice armor and get more mana when we ice armor. And there's many ranks of frost nova. It could be like leftover, so like your last couple of points go into frost nova, but you do enhance frost nova and then make it mystical frost nova for the vulnerability. Uh, then we go into the conjugation scale tree with align the elements. Uh, one just one point there, so we get into these. These are really really good. This allows you to. Uh, when you spend mana, you get damage reduction because you are spending mana a lot. But what happens is you regain it so fast with a lucky hit, so that, that really helps. Uh, I think it's 27%. Yeah, 27% on there. I have resource regeneration. I got a chance to restore a resource there. So it's like all that stuff like synergizes together and makes a really good build. <clears throat> then we do go and get the Devouring Blaze, one with Inner Flames. And we use unstable currents and unstable currents attacks faster, so that's really good for your glass or just cast charge bolts. Any enemies with shock skills increases your critical strike chance by 3%. So now we have more critical strike chance. Um, like I said, everything goes up when you start casting and, and doing things. A little bit of movement speed there. And Veer's Mastery, close enemies deal 10% or get 10% increased damage. It's gonna be awesome when I have Raymond's. I have not seen it yet. I got stupid razor plate, I got all excited dropped and then I was disappointed all right this is what I'm doing for Paragon Tree I didn't look at anything I just kind of what I thought would be best because I, I didn't plan to play charge bolts I got the staff and I said why not why don't I try it see if it works see if it does well and like I said I'm enjoying it currently so you can see here I'm just gonna go over the, the glyph sockets flame feeder is the first one I chose because I was able to get uh, the uh, requirements of decks here I think that's the most important thing to do right so you want to get all the windows you can and then you get it to level 15 and then you get all those nodes because I'm going to have more dex nodes after I get to level 15 like this one and this one so you'll click those so you get the extra bonuses right so you can see the bonus 9.4 percent that's crazy right like one ring does you know my whole ring does 20 so like two of those nodes it's insane right all right so back to that sorry and next one is going to be the burning instinct board which I came up here, came here, got that, the vulnerable, uh, vulnerable damage, exploit. Uh, the only thing about this one is it's kind of goofy with the barber malignant heart. So I think it works fine. You get extra damage here for vulnerable and you make things vulnerable anyways with your frost nova. So it's not like that big a deal. Um, but this is kind of the path I took. I went up here and then I went here, 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 here to get more burning damage to enemies, which is fantastic. Then I went this way. This is the way I went first. And then I picked the Frigid Fate board so I could get more vulnerable damage because we like vulnerable damage. That's good stuff. And then I picked Elementalist. Elementalist, I was able to get the 40 or 40 intelligence. I looked at a couple other nodes and I was not able to clear that without getting level 15 uh, glyph. So I might change it out in the future, but this is working really well. So that works well, and now I am going down to this uh, burning or the uh, I'm sorry ele elemental summoner because I want the attack speed. Uh, attack speed is good in this build. That's why I have it on my neck. I do need a lot of decks to get that. So um, I'll probably do the uh, what's the one that uh, the one that actually uh, helps your armor. I'll probably do that one next. Uh, I forget what it's called, but there's one that does help your armor or the uh, Destruction. Destruction is actually a really good one too, but I was not able to get this one right away. But that is the Paragon Tree. That is the build. That is what I'm rolling with. I have some other cool footage I'll drop in um, here 
just to show you guys. But thank you for watching the video. Uh, if you want, want to see more videos from Kafka, uh, I will definitely be working on them. Just uh, make sure you hit that like, hit that subscribe button so you know when the videos are popping up. But appreciate you guys watching and enjoy a charge bolt build. Play something different than the normal like ice shards crap that everyone was playing for a while in Blizzard. So something different is always fun. All right, peace out, y'all.